So guys, let's talk about the course objectives. We are essentially interested on all the basic modeling of pure substances and processes. And why do I say modeling of substances? Because we actually can interact with, let's say, water and ethanol. And if you have a mixture, you can get results even though you are not using a process. Maybe you just want to find out your isotropic uh, points or boiling point in mixtures, vapor pressure and so on. So you can model substances or components and of course you can model processes. Now let me talk to you about the objectives. We're going to be talking about the flow sheet, flow sheet sorry, and the work area is essentially well the place that we are going to be working and how we add streams units and all that information related to that. Then we go for basic requirements to set up a simulation. What is this? Essentially what do we need in order to start our simulation. Then we will start to talk about more of the physical properties which will model the substances which of course will have an impact in the process. But this is essentially just uh, about the substances. Eventually what I want to uh, have as an objective is to have a confidence, that you have the confidence to move around in the flow sheet, to be able to manipulate it, change it, change streams, add these, add, take away that, and so on. Eventually we will see that we need to know what's unit operations, hopefully you've seen that before, and if you don't know, no worries, I'm going to give you a small introduction. And unit operation is essentially all the blocks, which that's the way Aspen calls them, blocks that have an input. So we have an input and an output, and it is able to do a, let's say, mass transfer operation, momentum transfer operation, kinetic reactions, and also heat exchange. Eventually, as I told you guys, this is just theory. Eventually, what I want to do is to work to do a practice, to do many exercises and hopefully you get along and understand my logic and finally you apply yours in your projects. Then the most interesting part of this is eventually getting results. How we're we going to get results? Well essentially Aspen gives us a good result. What we're going to do is essentially find out which are the results we want and which are the results we don't want. Also, we're going to see a little bit on technical stuff, which are extensions, versions, exporting, importing, savings, backups, and all templates and so on. Now, this is another part I want to talk to you about. The objectives can be carried out by theory, but you cannot do theory alone. You, if you are just watching these videos and you are just clicking continue video, continue video, and you are not practicing, well, and pretty sure you are not going to get the best of the course. But if you actually practice a lot, do all the study scenarios, all the study cases and the final workshop, I'm pretty sure you're going to understand it at least a basic level. And eventually what you want is more practice. So you want to do more of your own, open new projects, try to simulate simple processes, complex processes and so on. And the most important part of this process is to make analysis. Not only, let's say, you have this unit and it failed. Well, why does it fail? You want to know why it's failing and that's a very important part of the engineer. Know why something doesn't work and, well, eventually solve it or fix it. Now, guys, if you are taking this intensive course, which is the way I do it, especially with students, is first day we see about 60%. Second day, we see about 40% and we leave a little space for some question and answer, Q&A, which you can add in the discussion board. Now for the course structure, which is the, uh, the, which the recommended structure I recommend is essentially one week. So you do about 20% each day, 15, 15, and eventually 20 and you relax with the last problems. So, Whatever you choose, it shall not take you longer than one week.